Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, March 8, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. And we have yet another diary written by one of our interns from the Sands Technology Institute College. These interns, they're working with our honeypots and also are looking for other attacks that they're then writing up. And uh, the latest here that I found worthwhile sharing as a diary was written by uh, David Boyd. David looked at uh, scans that he saw looking for a configuration file and turns out that this configuration file is associated with a Visual Studio Code extension SFTP. SFTP, not a bad protocol if you want to upload, download files. It's basically related to SSH and uh, works like FTP, which makes it pretty easy, but it's all nicely encrypted. But you still, of course, need credentials. And what apparently happens here is that developers are creating these configuration files with their username and password in clear text. And then they're pushing these configuration files together with the entire source code of their application to a live website, which of course exposes them. And that's what attackers are looking for. So if you're seeing scans for .vs code slash sftp.json, that's the attack here. If you're using this extension, VS code sftp, make sure you are securing those credentials. When you're copy pasting data via a clipboard in many operating systems, pretty much all applications that you may currently have active are able to access that clipboard. And that kind of access across different applications, of course, can be abused. And that's something that Microsoft's research team ran into. They wrote up a blog post about Android applications, not just misusing as in missharing that information, but also reporting it back to their developers. This is of course a particular issue if you're copy pasting passwords. And the problem here in particular was an application created by online retailer Shane. This application not only read the clipboard, which may be legitimate in some cases, but it also then took the clipboard and sent it back to cloud servers operated by the company. Now, Android offers some mitigations for this problem. Android 10 and above, as Microsoft points out, will require that the application with access to the clipboard is actually the active application. On Android 12 and above, you will get a message that uh, will be displayed, and Android 13 will clear the content of the clipboard after some time to limit the exposure. But uh, Neither of these versions is asking explicitly for permission. iOS in recent versions added a feature that does ask for permission, which actually then caused uh, some problems because it made uh, some applications uh, difficult to use. They sort of had to uh, correct that feature a little bit. And MorpheSec has a write-up about new malware that they're observing that launches more targeted Facebook attacks. The target here are Facebook business accounts, but also Facebook business accounts in specific sectors, like, for example, critical infrastructure and manufacturing companies. The attack starts as so often with fake ads, sometimes also with fake Facebook profiles that are pushing free applications, hacked games, movies, and the like. So your usual uh, very basic lures, of course, that you often uh, see being used to deploy malware. The malware itself is kind of interesting. It's an info stealer, of course, and uh, uses a DLL site loading in order to bypass uh, detection uh, techniques. Once infected, it will then search user system for things like usernames and passwords and exfiltrate them to a website. The target here is also, again, Facebook accounts, First of all, of course, to spread the malware further. It's unclear if this is really sort of the only or the main purpose of the software or if uh, there is more sinister uh, 
a bit more sinister background here, looking for credentials in general. Well, then we also have an update for Android. So make sure you apply that. Android 11, 12, and 13 received their monthly updates uh, today. And as announced earlier, uh, Microsoft Excel, now Microsoft Excel in Office 365 to say better, now will block untrusted XLL files by default. These add-ons uh, have sort of been used uh, sometimes as an alternative to macros. Well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.